I feel like there's some beauty when you're making, I mean, I don't mean this about our record, but just in general, like making art, like when you, you're like, this is all we have. So like, that's why it looks like this or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just feel, feel like sometimes people are like, it's such an iconic image and you're like, it's the only one we had. Yeah, Instagram is really funny because people ask me about B-sides and I'm like, oh no, 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 we com the, we completed all of the songs we had. It's like, we have, like it's just a futon from our apartment. Yeah, literally, it's just yeah, like. Literally. What's up, guys? We're backstage at iHeartRadio Alter Ego. I'm iHeartRadio's Emily Curl with Justin Richmond from the Broken Record Podcast. And of course, we have Fallout Boy here with us. Can you give it up for Fallout Boy? Woo! We always do the claps. You guys know that. We have yeah. to cheer you on. <laughs> I love I love the, you know, there's always the effort. You know? I like <laughs> it's always it. there. I appreciate it. Uh, listen, we're so glad to have you guys here uh, performing Alter Ego. And you're closing out the show tonight. How does it feel to be on that stage? Feels. I mean, I think we feel pretty lucky that, you know, 20 years in or whatever, that we can still play shows like this and playing with some of the bands is pretty crazy for us so yeah who on this list are you most excited to like get to hang with backstage Let's or look at the before? list right yeah, there. so that. far away okay. i think uh the 1975 is so cool to play with in the way that like it feels like some big art project that they're doing you know like within pop music and i saw the set and it's like a house and i don't know it just all seems like really interesting and by the way i saw you guys uh just saw make sure that um how was that Good. Yeah, it's always good to see him. And you know, I don't know. It's it's cool to we we bumped into so many people here, um, which is it's always weird because I feel like you get used to playing your own shows where you know it's very like you know locked in your your thing. But then you like you know every it's where everybody gets to meet up and you kind of you know like nice, it's always it's always nice like cool reunion. Your, yeah, that's the thing I was looking for. Like the yeah. And like you were saying, you got to see them like yeah. this was a while ago. Twenty years yeah, twenty years ago at a local club here. And it's crazy to see, you know, like the, the evolution of you guys over 20 years is insane, you know? With the new record too, the new record's amazing. Oh, thank you. How was the writing process on the new record? Uh, we took our time because, I mean, A, there was a pandemic, so we had to. Yeah. Um, but then also, it was just one of those things where I think as a band, you enter this place where it's like you could just do the past forever or you could figure out what the next thing is. And I think mm -hmm. that was a really big challenge. When we talked to, um, we, we first talked to, um, Neil Avron, who produced it, um, his his first two questions, he asked you, what are you gonna write, what are you saying lyrically? And he asked me, he's like, what's it gonna sound like? Like, cause he really, for him, he was like, I'm not really interested if it's not together. If that's not, like, if there's not like a plan, if we don't have a vision. Did that kinda, was that, did that take you back a bit? <laughs> it was intimidating. <laughs> totally intimidating. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and even behind you, we have some, like, some older records. When you look at like old Fall Out Boy, what, what does that take you back to? Like, especially when you see like that old album art cover from the beginning, like that's gotta be wild. <laughs> I feel like there's some beauty when you're making, I mean, I don't mean this about our record, but just in general, like making art, like when you, you're like, this is all we have. So like, that's why it looks like this or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just feel, feel like sometimes people are like, such an iconic image and you're like it's the only one we had yeah Instagram is really funny because people ask me about b-sides and i'm like oh no 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 we com the, we completed all of the songs we have that's like, we have, like it's just a futon from our apartment yeah, literally, just yeah, like, that wasn't that was that, so really, iconic that, yeah. that wasn't supposed to be the, right that's not supposed to be the cover we had not. a different oh, cover and then last minute we couldn't clear that cover and so it was like i don't know use a photo that we had like we had taken a photo we taken a like a set of photos in our apartment. That was just her. Wow. Stop <laughs> it. Yes. Um, it's so cool now because you know I've seen you guys at a couple of, like festivals and shows. Typically we work backstage, but every now and again we can like sneak out into the show. So at the festival I got to see you guys perform oh, cool. live, which that was so exciting. I have to ask you about like the flamethrowers, the the flames on your head. That was wild. Oh yeah, it was actually like kind of like I think a nod to this Red Hot Chili Peppers performance in England in the '90s. They had a similar thing, and we just kind of built a it off of that and obviously it fit the song that we were playing. One of the camera guys kept being like, don't shoot the flame at me. I'm like, <laughs> I literally can't, it goes up. Well, that was actually, yeah. That, I was I was terrified of that. And that was the good news is that like, fi fire goes up. It Wait, really... that's, that's, were y'all scared? Because even like being on stage, it's I hot around. I because I was afraid of catastrophe. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah like Michael right? Jackson yeah. On stage. yeah, yeah. Do you guys like keep innovating live performances like that? Like, are, do you have some surprises for tonight? Are we bringing we the fire back out? Well, we should. we should have thought of that. We should have thought of that. I don't know. Oh. Dang, what time is it? Oh. Um, we try to. I mean, I don't know. Like, I think that, like, I love seeing, like, event art, you know, like, where you're like, oh, this is, like, this one-time thing, and you kind of had to be there, or I guess now you can see oh, it on the yeah. internet or whatever. Yeah. But, like, it's fun to have some experiential thing and to realize that 
it gives a different perspective to the music, hopefully. Yeah. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. No, no, it was cool. It was it was an experience. Yeah, it okay. was fun. Yeah, Good. I liked it. So I'm into the fire. <laughs> I, am, I It's fun for me because I, I don't read enough of the emails. So then I show up and I'm like, oh, I'm on fire. I didn't realize that. <laughs> like, like. Wait, so who in the group is kind of like, if you guys do something that's like out of the ordinary or something like not different? Not yeah, not that's it's not <laughs> Who's the one initiating the idea? Like, where does it come from? Is it kind of a mixed bag? I feel like actually Pete and I are kind of like infamous for this internally in different ways where last minute and it's a musical thing or it's a visual thing at the very last minute we both have these really big ideas right so i'll be like you know the record's going to mastering i'm like wait what if we did an orchestra right and pete is the is the thing where like the day before <laughs> tour he's like wait what if it's like uh, you and know it's kind of now the opposite yeah. of like the little blue futon cover where you're like could we like set it on fire and they're like well maybe we could and you're like oh <laughs> Interesting. Perfect. <laughs> that could work. I didn't think that was going to be the answer. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get an like an orchestra was, and record live? I They're was like, so used to no. <laughs> I was kind of comfortable with no. They're like, yeah, we yeah, can figure like, it out. Okay. You're like, damn, okay. Wow. Well, listen, we're so excited to have you guys here, truly. In 2024, what else can we look forward to? Um, what do you guys got going on? We're going out uh, back on tour in the U.S., and we're going to be kind of doing this similar stage show to the last tour. So, oh, nice. yeah, okay, we're hitting some places we haven't been, so that's... Oh. Exciting, and then we go to um, the UK and play a festival, and so. Oh, nice! Yeah. Of the places you're going, anywhere that you like, you're especially excited about. You haven't been in a minute. Portland and Milwaukee for me. Ooh. Why Portland and Milwaukee? Why? I live in Portland now, and I grew up in Milwaukee. Oh. And we haven't played uh -huh. either for a long time. Great. And it's oh God, we're playing Fiserv, out. where the Bucks play, which we've never played. So I'm excited to meet Giannis. Yeah. And Dame. That yeah, Dame Lillard's on the team. Yeah, that's right. I don't think they'll be there, but. Wait a Jordan Love, Athletes actually live at the places that they, that they, uh, where they <laughs> play the games. <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah. the message happen. for Jordan Love? Win the playoffs tomorrow. <laughs> so no, I'm very one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm excited for that too. Any other places? I think that like some of these places that we're going, we ha we haven't played in a while, and yeah. and you know places that don't get city or don't get shows as often. Sometimes the energy is just kind of a little wild, so we're excited. About oh, that. that's great. Okay, well, we can't wait to see that Fall Out Boy. Thank you guys so much again for being here. One more time, Fall Out Boy back stage on three. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. See you next time.